Uh, it's much great. Uh, I almost forgot what winning feels like. You know, it's just a great feeling after that game to to get that victory. Oh uh, yeah, most definitely. We uh finally just got over that hump tonight and got back to our winning ways. And I think we showed a lot of improvement. And we can go back and watch this tape and uh and keep improving on it. It was real fun out there tonight. Uh, I think everybody enjoyed themselves, and I mean that's that's what the game that's what the game should bring to you. Just enjoyment, having fun with these guys. Um, I mean, me and Jamie only got a certain amount of games left, and, and it's over. So we got to approach every game like that, just to go out and have fun, and uh, and uh, have something to remember the season by. Well, I think, yeah, it's an improvement, you know, just because um, we may be up at halftime or whatever, and just to come out and stay aggressive the second half, not only playing just the first half, but to play both halves and, you know, just keep our intensity and just go out and play hard. Defensively, how much better were you guys in the second half? Uh, well, just, you know, a lot better because uh, first half, you know, we come in, talk about our mistakes we made at halftime, and then just go out and try to correct it every way we can. Uh, well, I, I believe it's a big relief, you know, not only for uh, the seniors and the upperclassmen to be, you know, uh, you know, we know that you know, we can have our ups and downs and we still have our head up, but uh, just for our, you know, young guys to show them that, you know, we're not going to let up and don't matter what happened, you know, we still have games left, so it's a big relief. I think it's big because, you know, just because we came out and, you know, won. And uh, our coaches, you know, we always say you're as good as your last game. So, you know, we're going to we're gonna look at this and, you know, that's, you know, last thing on our mind that we got to win. Uh, that's how we're going to go out to the next game. We're going to try to get that win. Oh, yeah, like Jeremy said, it's just a big win. Um, I mean, like you said, you got to start somewhere, and, and tonight was a good start for us. And uh, we definitely can feed off of this win and propel us through the rest of the season with this win right here. Is this a free spiral over? What's the focus this coming up? You know, you said you're going to win. You know, that's going to be a press. Obviously, I think Kendall Taylor, what's, what, what's going to have to happen now? Oh, we just got to keep going back and practicing, working hard, and uh, – and keep improving and, and try to win the rest of these games, try to win them out. And uh, I mean, just believing in ourselves and believing in the coaching staff and that we can do it. And um, I'm sure we can accomplish it. Uh, the main thing was that coach wanted me to come out with this high energy. So I did that and I just wanted to show the guys what I was capable of doing. You know, as a freshman coming in and just building on to that. Progressing from there. How did you feel about the performance? Uh, uh, personally, I thought it was outstanding. You know, uh, <laughs> I mean, I got some career highs in a few areas, like such as rebounds and steals. So, I mean, I feel great about it. So, I'm just hoping that uh, coach can still gain his trust with me and just continue to grow from there. Coach has talked to me about it a lot, not just the head coach, but like players also and assistant coaches. They just want me to just learn how to run the team and just uh, gain control as the game's going on and just get used to that. So. Uh, they improved a lot. I mean, uh, I mean, it's always tough when you're on a losing streak. 
but you always see the young guys in the gym working out with each other. I mean, they come in, they come in late at night and work out with each other. And I mean, it shows on the court that uh, that they're improving. And uh, and I just want to, I just want to thank those guys for wanting to send our, the seniors out on the right track. Yeah, I mean, uh, New Orleans really is a guard-oriented team, and, and they had a couple of good guards that could get into the lane and, and uh, penetrate and kick and, and knock down shots. And uh, I think we did a good job of, of making them hit tough shots when, when they did make shots and um, just making it hard for them. And we definitely can look back on this and, and see what we're capable of. Hey, Greg, in the case of I think Caden just he's just been getting more aggressive and uh we definitely need definitely need him to be aggressive when um uh, when teams can't just key in on me on the perimeter they also have to guard Caden because they uh, he's starting to get a rep as a shooter now and he's just being more aggressive at, at driving the ball and um when he didn't make shots he still had the confidence to keep shooting and uh, like I said he just shot his way out of it. Uh that's huge. I mean uh you can you can put you can put two players out there that can score from the perimeter. You can't give as much help, and then it also opens up the opens up the middle also because they have to, to flare out and, and guard the three. Hey Jim, did you coach this team before you got your approach today? I know uh, Trinity Simmons was up for you. You watched all the game at home. They were down just a little bit. Uh, did, did you take a different approach in, or were you thankful for it? Uh, I, I just came into the game, just wanted to have fun and uh, just play for my teammates. And, uh, it wasn't nothing special today. I just uh, just wanted to come out and play hard and see what happens from there.